Welcome! In this new presentation we are going to see some different methods that can be applied in order to perform a good thermogradimetric analysis. This is our contents outline. First of all we will see some previous consideration regarding the parameters that you can play with in order to perform and design a good method and then we will go through the different methods that you can uh, apply such as the isothermal, isostep as well as dynamic. Regarding the previous knowledge that you have to have before understanding this presentation, you have to know some fundamentals about DTA analysis as well as some experimentation skills. Let's start then uh, answering the question which are the parameters that we have to play with in order to design a good method? These are three parameters. First of all, temperature, then time, and then which is the gas that we are going to apply in our analysis. By the combination of the temperature and time we, will, we can define some different methods such as the isothermal and dynamic methods. A combination of both, isothermal and dynamic, uh, will result in uh, the method which is known as isostep. Regarding the gas that we use for our analysis we have to define first of all which is the flux that means the amount of gas per time unit that you are applying and most important question do we want the gas to react with our sample if we don't want that so we only want to analyze the thermal stability of our sample we will have to apply an inner gas such as argon or nitrogen if we want a reaction between our sample and the environment, we will have to apply some oxygen or air in order to have a reactive atmosphere. Let's see then, according to the different combinations of temperature and time, the different methods that we can apply. When we define an isothermal method, we define a constant temperature along an established time. If we make some different steps, this is the isostep method in which some isothermal segments at different temperatures are defined. We can define some different dynamic uh, steps between these isothermal segments. Finally, if we define a dynamic method, the initial and ending temperatures are defined or tell it, told in other ways, we can define a constant heating rate which is more, uh, most important is that this method is the one that is used more broadly. Remember what we have seen here. We have uh, defined which are the parameters to define a good method, which are the relationship between the time and the temperature and the gas of analysis. Then we have seen the three main thermogrammetric methods, isothermal, isostep and dynamic. And finally, and keep that in mind, is that the dynamic methods are the mostly used. Now it's your time to decide which is your best method to your experience.